Eugenie wears an Alberta Ferretti gown, Bulgari earrings and a Harry Winston ring, photographed by Alex Bromwell advertisement, continue reading below Eugenie of York is sitting in the TV room of her family home, Royal Lodge, in Windsor Great Park. It's the definition of comfy cozy, with family pictures scattered around and Norfolk Terriers wandering in and out. Eugenie, 28, the younger daughter of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, has just completed a shoot for Bazaar in the Lodge's sitting room. During the week, however, she lives in London and works as an associate director at the Contemporary Art Gallery Hausa. Before returning to London in 2015, she spent two years in New York as a specialist at the online auction house Paddle 8. Art is in Eugenie's bones as much as the monarchy, 6.45 a.m. I get up around 6.45 to start exercising by 7. I read my personal emails when I wake up. My mom always says, what's the point of rolling straight out of bed and looking at your emails? It can ruin the first few hours of your morning. If you just wait but I really can't. I go to the park from 7 to 8. I do circuits, which I love because they're quick burpees, squat jumps, lunges, the whole lot. It's much better, as I can't run for a long time. Or I go with my best friend to this amazing, women-only gym called Grace Belgravia. If I need to pick up some groceries, I go to Waitrose, right next to my gym. In the morning class, I can smell the fresh croissants coming in and I'm like, don't do this to me, 8.15 a.m. I come home, have a shower, get dressed. My first conversation is often with my mom, saying, good morning, what are you doing today, or it's with my boyfriend, Jack. Sometimes I don't speak until I get into work and talk to the team. Or it's my doggy Jack, yes, my boyfriend and my dog have the same name, total accident. If you can call that a conversation. Laughs, advertisement, continue reading below 8.45 a.m. I do my makeup in the car. I'm really good at doing it on the move. I use Charlotte Tilbury and Bobby Brown, Charlotte's mascara and Bobby Brown bronzer. They are geniuses. Eugenie wears an Alberta Ferretti gown and Bulgari earrings, photographed by Alex Bromwell advertisement, continue reading below advertisement, continue reading below 9 a.m. I start at work. The Hausa. I work with colleagues in London as well as our galleries in LA, New York, Somerset in the UK, and Zurich. Part of my job is planning special projects, supporting the artists in the gallery and managing events. We work with many artists and estates around the world, including Mike Kelly, Philip Gustin, and, most recently, Leisha Pape. We have been working with some of our artists from the time the gallery was founded almost 25 years ago, like Pipilati Wrist. I've loved art since I was very little. I knew I definitely wouldn't be a painter, laughs, but I knew this was the industry for me. I love being able to share my passion for art with people. If someone doesn't understand something, you have the ability to suggest, maybe you can look at it this way, that's what I find most thrilling about working in a gallery. A seminal moment for me, at age 16, was when I saw a Jean-Michel Basquiat show in New York. Basquiat is my hero. I did a study on him at school, and learned to paint like him. I'd never done anything like that. But art is all around us, sculpture, architecture, fashion, 10 a.m. I wear a dress and boots to work. I've started wearing high heels, which is so grown up. But they're painful by the end of the day. I look at people wearing heels in movies and I'm like, how do they do that? For clothes, I love Sandro and Maj. Zara is great for work, and bits from Topshop. My favorite is my lace bomber jacket from Aeson Seal Antwerp and I live in my rag. Advertisement, continue reading below 11 o'clock a.m. At work, I read the New York Times art section, Artnet, the FT, and Contemporary Art Daily. I don't get newspapers delivered, I read news online. I also follow some incredible Instagram accounts, like other galleries, Christie's, Sotheby's, also Klaus Wiesenbach from MoMA PS1.
He recently posted artist Katarina Gross, who spray-painted a house in the Rockaways, New York, that was ruined during Hurricane Sandy. It's an amazing artwork, 1 p.m. For lunch, I walk over to the Detox Kitchen, which is right across Regent Street in Kingley Court. They do the best food, all healthy. There's often a queue outside. I try to not eat at my desk because it's good to go outside, especially in the summer, and it's always fun to explore Soho. During the day I drink everything from green tea to coffee, Diet Coke to fizzy water, 3 p.m. We usually have team meetings in the afternoon to discuss plans for events such as the next Venice Biennale, where Felita Barlow is representing the UK. And Mark Bradford the US advertisement, continue reading below advertisement, continue reading below 5 p.m. In the evenings, I often have engagements related to my family or a charity I support. How's that? My sister, B, and I have charities we are patrons of. We also try to support Granny and Grandpa in any way we can because that is what family is for. I look at people wearing heels in movies and I'm like, how do they do that? 6 o'clock p.m. I'll go home, change, and go to the event. I love trying new looks. I don't want to be pigeonholed. You wear the same thing twice? Great. If you don't, great. And if that means wearing a green Sandro dress, great. I wore that to Granny's birthday parade, with a Vivian Sheriff hat. I also wore this amazing red eponine dress for Granny's 90th birthday service at St. Paul's. Advertisement, continue reading below 8 o'clock p.m. I like to go out for dinner when I can. My friends and my boyfriend love trying new places. I collect restaurant cards. I also collect airplane tickets, by the way, since I was 16. One day, I'm going to turn them into wallpaper and paste it into my cupboard. Two of my favorite restaurants in London are Boca di Lupo and the Palomar in Soho. For dinner, when I'm being good, I cook my own food. When I'm being really bad, it's Basilico Pizza. My favorite drink is vodka soda with loads of lime. Can't beat that, 10 o'clock p.m. When I get home depends on whether there's an art opening, or if I have an event or a dinner. If I'm home, I cook and watch TV. It's very relaxed. At the moment I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder, Viola Davis, she's insanely good, and Outlander, my favorite. When I'm with Jack, we watch The Walking Dead, which we are obsessed with. Me Game of Thrones is our next thing. I don't watch reality shows, but I love cooking programs. Indulgences chips, fries, as you say, diet coke, nuts. Cashew nuts with mustard are the best. Netflix, 11 p.m. I wash my face with Joe Malone eucalyptus. Mumsy took one of an elephant spraying water on its back, which is incredible, and there's one Papa took of Balmoral Castle. I've got a lot of art that needs to be put on the walls. And there are shoes everywhere, 12 a.m. Sadly, my bedtime is late. Less than 7 hours sleep. I guess so. What can't I live without? My family. That sounds cheesy, but I really can't. Especially, my mum. I wouldn't be able to make tough decisions without her. And my sister. My mom always says that we are the only ones who know exactly what's going on in each other's lives. My father as well. He's the rock. And I couldn't live without my doggies. Laughs, what might people be surprised to learn? That I have a full-time job. And I have metal rods in my back keeping me straight. I was born with scoliosis and had an operation when I was 12. Those rods live with me permanently. Advertisement, continue reading below. Advertisement, continue reading below. Eugenie wears an item dress, Harry Winston earrings, bracelet and ring and Manolo Blahnik shoes, photographed by Alex Brommel. This article originally appeared in the September 2016 issue of Harper's Bizarre U.S. Hair, Ken O'Rourke for Charles Worthington, makeup, attractive Courtney for Bobby Brown, manicure, Chisato Yamamoto, production, Rose the Curtain for Law Production.